welcome back to our HP ALM and Quality Center video tutorial series on quick tips and tricks brought to you by the Results Positive team. We keep the videos short and to the point so that you can become a resident expert in no time. In this video, we will focus on the releases module. Specifically, we will show you how to create a new release and define a new cycle. Simple enough, right? Well, if you work as an IT practitioner, you likely understand the importance of release planning. It's truly a roadmap in terms of pushing high quality software to your customers. Quality Center makes it easy for us to effectively organize releases, organize cycles, and also associate requirements and groups of tests, otherwise known as test sets, to the releases. But hey, what does this all mean for you? Well, you'll have greater transparency and more control of your release planning process. So let's get started with creating a new release. And by the way, if you would like a desk aid for any of these tips and tricks we demonstrate, just email us at info at resultspositive.com. Enough with the talk though, let's see some action. Managing releases is accomplished in the management module. Simply enough, you do what I just did and you click on management, which expands like an accordion. Then click on releases, then click this button for new release. Or you could hold control and press R as a shortcut to create a release. After clicking, a pop-up window appears like this, asking you for a little more information. Let's name our release as SP05.15. SP standing for service pack. I'm gonna designate a start date and end date. And I'll put in a little description here. Click OK. And there you see it. And if I click the right caret arrow, nothing occurs below it. And now I'm going to create a test cycle by clicking this button or holding my control key down and pressing Y. Now a cycle it could be a collection of activities pertaining to a release, such as requirement modification, test planning, test design, test execution, and even defect resolution. The power of Quality Center is that everything is interconnected so that your stakeholders have a bird's eye view of the total days in a cycle, remaining days in a cycle, total test instances for a given cycle, and other pertinent information like required execution rate, and actual execution rate. For me, I like to create cycles around testing layers. So for a service pack, you typically do regression testing and it happens towards the end of the release. So you can see the release goes through May 24th and I'll schedule the regression testing to occur, eh, let's say May 19th through May 22nd. And I'll give it a little description here. And I'll click OK. And you can see the regression or the release is specified here. The test cycle is there. This concludes our video tutorial on creating a new release and defining a cycle. Check back with us as we dive into other features like assigning requirements to releases and cycles or assigning test sets to releases and cycles. For organizations that own HP ALM full licenses, we will also cover milestones and KPIs enabling your team to track thresholds across important factors such as requirements coverage or tests passed. We thank you for watching HP ALM and Quality Center Tips and Tricks brought to you by the Results Positive team. Email us at info at for desk aids covering each topic reviewed. Mm -hmm.